Right, some more mail items, so let's see what's in this bag. Hmm. Ah, okay, not a fan. So this is a uh, 115 volt. This is also quite a lot of noise on it, probably. But it's a wider profile. This is, I got this one previously in another mail bag, which I've got sitting here because I'm not using it soon. So they're both the same dimensions, apart from the width. So if I can fit this in a unit, I'll fit that one in. Otherwise, this one will go in. So I'll, there's a couple of units I've had which have had bad fans, 115 volt fans. So I thought, well, I'll get a couple. I know I've got to put one in the Valhalla. That needs doing. So I'll do that. Whichever one fits, I'll put that in there. Um, it's got these two pin terminals on them, which is a bit of a pain. But they're the same style. So maybe there's a standardised plug or something for them. Might you have to look at that. Oh, let's see what's in this one. It's another fan. And this is the same as the previous one, exactly the same. I think they must have had stock in different places, so they sent them both to independently. So it's another same, exactly the same as that one. Well, a couple of those of the spear now, that's good, because I'll always use them. Yes, sir. I'm sitting in five from uh, element 14 rather than RS, because element 14 are a lot faster than RS these days. RS used to be really good, but um, yeah, not so much anymore. At least not here. Maybe in other countries are better, but. What is this? Some caps, which are Vichy brand. Good, decent brand. Never quite know what we're going to get sometimes. 470 microfarad, 25 volt, there we go. So again, I'm just creating some stock and getting some bits and pieces together for working on the Vichy AC calibrator. So these are parts for that. All right, next thing. Some mono audio jacks. What did I buy these for? I really don't remember. Ah, now I do, now I do. For my uh, CMU 200, when I'm doing audio testing, I was going to put a audio cable from the CMU into one of these plugs. Being mono, it has to be mono for CB work, you know, because it's external speakers, not stereo, it's only mono. So um, I've got some of those, so I can plug the audio cable from that straight in, so I can use clip leads and mess around and stuff like that. Just a bit easier. Let's see what's in here. More capacitors. So these are 1000 uh, RF, 40 volt. I'm pretty sure I didn't. I don't know. Maybe I did all of that many, but again, these are for the Valhalla and for stock as well, whichever you end up using. So both the same. Yeah, 1,000. I'm pretty sure I needed some 10,000 UF as well. I need to look into that. All right, it's my bag on. Let's see what's in here. Always amazes me how much packaging there is on these things. And all that just for two capacitors. What are they? Yeah, another 1000 UF, 25 volt. Nothing particularly exciting about that. Right, let's see what's in this thing. Here we go. It's that last little bit. Here we go. Here we go, HP8901. Modulation analyzer, operation calibration manual. Just make sure there's nothing tucked inside it. There's not. I don't know once before I opened it up and there's been my address details on one of my page, so I was like, hmm, bet sure it's not there. Let's have a look. Does this actually have any diagrams or anything in it? I'm not sure. I think it's just general calibration stuff. General usage. All the dividers are in here, like, that's not been put in. <laughs> so you have to put the dividers in yourself. As you can see, it's basically brand new, it? it's not really had much usage. It looks like it's new. Performance testing. I've got electronic copies of this already, but I always like to get the actual physical manuals as well. This is mint condition pretty much, this is perfect, just like this has never been used really. It's pretty cool. Yep. Very nice. This will probably come in handy at some point. 
very least understanding how to use the thing because I don't currently know. Now, I'm doing a live stream of this video right now and um, people doing a live stream wouldn't actually know I've got this yet because I haven't published the videos on this unit yet. So, because <laughs> my, my uh, videos are a little bit further, further, a little bit farther behind than uh, the live stream stuff. Right, this package here has come from Dave, which is upside down. There you go, Dave. Not Dave Jones, this is a different Dave. He's actually a viewer of the channel, and it turns out he's been bidding against me on various auctions, been interested in the same sort of stuff, obviously. And um, he sent me a bit of a present. So, he's, I don't know what's in here, I've got no idea. We'll be finding out shortly. So, thank you very much, Dave, for sending this to me. Looks like there's a note. Let's have a little read before I stick it on the channel. Yeah, okay. Little note to me, so let's read this. Yep, yeah, I'm not going to show that, but uh, yeah, thanks a lot, Dave. I read your note, really nice. I might take over that one day if I ever come down. Right, what we got in here? Oh, this looks very interesting. So, you've got some just packaging. A couple of things wrapped up that's one chicken every piece. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Very nice. Awesome. What's in here? Wow, size of it. This could come in handy, definitely. If that was a microfarad 350 volt. Very nice with the drain resistor already mounted on it. I'm sure a piece of gear one day if we'll use these. Apparently enjoys the airbag video, so he's going to enjoy this one, I'm guessing. And there's another one. A spray cap. 10,000 UF 75 volt. Again, this sort of thing, which I think I actually had this value before in a piece of test gear. Yeah, so these are caps I'm likely to use. That's my side. So, packet of mentors. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dave. That's great. I like mentors. More caps. 350 volt, 100 UF. Again, these are values which are likely to use. Um, these have obviously been pulled, but I can test those and I expect they're probably okay. But if you get a situation where you need caps and you haven't got them, then used ones are better because sometimes used ones are absolutely fine if they're not too old. A bunch of diodes. Oh, what are these ones? in 400 something, 4007s, yep, so standard power, like use these for various power functions like uh, bridge rate to fire, that sort of thing. 4007, I can't watch voltage rating those, are. I don't know, I have to look it up, but yeah, that's, that's something I would definitely use too. 15k, what would that be, 10 watt was this, isn't they? What's in there, about 20 of them, maybe a bit more than that. Awesome. Those will definitely come in handy too. It always comes in handy eventually. Oh, a couple of massive diodes. Very nice. 40 HFR40. Not funny what those are offhand, but um, yeah, those will be nice beefy diodes. I'm not sure, quite sure what they'll be rated at, but they'll be quite a lot. Some little plug connectors. Bag of relays. What are these rated at? 24 volt relays, 250 volt contact, 5 amp. So 24 volt relays. 24 volts actually a nice handy voltage to have because I use 24 volts in the motorhome and I have used it for various other things I've done too in the past so those would be useful. Look at these. So 2SC 106D, I'm not quite sure what those are. I'll have to look those up. BTA 26, again not too sure what those are, I have to look those up as well. What's this? 2N2646. These are the VGA ones because they've got three rows. 
they could be handy for some projects in the future. Oh wow, <laughs> a whole bunch of TV coax connectors. Yeah, I actually had to buy some of these a few months ago. That's really irritating. <laughs> it's really irritating. Yeah, but that's cool. That'd be handy now. Wow, this is a big caps. 474, 470 NF. And these are 250 volt, uh, 0.82 plus or minus 10%, so 554. And there's some, uh... oh, yeah, there's, the, there's the mating parts for those other ones. So we put those in here somewhere, here we go. So that's the mating connector for those, so yep, great. So you make interconnects up. Ooh, these are interesting looking devices. All oh, right, these are infrared sensors. So you got a little window on the top there. Yeah, infrared detectors. So these be using like PIRs and stuff like that. What's this? That's a pretty big diode. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty serious, that thing. ST330S12P. 9403 Italy. So that's be third month, uh, third week of 1994, I'm guessing. That is a serious diet. Wow. <laughs> what that's out of? These look like uh, what's that? BTA 4600B C9122 UL 91. Looks like. Couple of them. I have to look those up, won't I? Some more cats. What we got here? 220 UF 16 volt. Yep, those would be handy. Caps are always useful. Oh, another bunch of caps in here. Uh, 1000 UF 35 volt. And 2200 UF 63 volt. All radial caps. Cool. Always handy. He's obviously seen how many caps I buy. <laughs> what are these? Oh, okay. These are um, photo cells. It looks like photo cells. Anyway, you can see the resistive line on the top there. So I think they're photo cells. Uh, photo sensors, you know. Uh, God, what's the name of them? I've forgotten. Anyway. Can you do a project? A whole bunch of wire. That's quite a stiff wire, that'd be really good for doing um, board hookups and stuff like that. A few of those. You have a treasure trove, isn't it, really? Solid state relay. 3 to 32 volt, that's handy. This can usually switch quite high voltages, you know, hundreds of volts. Industrial usage, very handy things. A bunch more interconnects. Board one, so you can solder them onto the PCB and screw onto the terminals. Wire interconnects, which should be panel mounting, stick a screw through that to mount it, looks like. Those will come in handy too for various projects. What's this lot? Oh, little transformers. I think they're transformers. Those are like relays. Clacton on C. Oh, Pickering Engineering, Clacton on C. <laughs> I've been to Clayton on sea. <laughs> awesome. Those are like transformers and these are like relays. I've also got in here some uh, LED indicators. What are these rated for? 24 volt LED, so there's also a built in resistor in there. Those are also very handy. Oh, look at those. Some ferrites, although they may not survive too well. That'd be handy, you can you know, wrap wire around them, that sort of stuff. Use them for chokes. Some LEDs with uh, flat ends on. So good for panel indicators. Get a nice solid dot that way. Some little uh, preset pots. 5K. 5K is a good value, I use a lot of them. Some other panel indicators, probably 24 volt. Yep, they are. Also good for projects. Whole bunch more screw terminals. PC mount ones. Also these have been uh, 
rescued from something. You can see they've been soldered previously, but that's nothing wrong with that. It's giving me a whole bunch of these little cases, parts cases. Very handy these are. You always need parts cases, different sizes. So they've got long slots, small small squares, a couple of each. That's awesome. Wow, he just sent me a lot of stuff. What else we got in here? Wow, what the hell is this? <laughs> 200 amp, 1000 volt. Wow, that's like a um, early SSR, but looks of it really. BXBEC, base emitter collector. It looks like a bloody Darlington kind of array thing there, a couple of Darlington's in there, almost like. Very interesting. I'm going to have to look that up later on. So is it a uh, 1DI200Z? Fuji Electric. And this is just... What is that? It feels more substantial than just a, a mounting block. EBC, EBC. Is that another pair of them? There's no markings on that to say what it is. That's going to be a bit of a mystery, isn't it? It's almost like it's an industrial transistor, isn't it? Just like that other one. Very interesting. So that's quite a haul. So thank you very much, Dave, for sending all this stuff. That's been brilliant. A bit of a treasure trove, certainly. Awesome.